This is Ellen, and I'm going to show you how to make this bracelet on one loom. Um, I know I just should have put up a video showing how to extend it, but that's still requiring um, two looms because you needed the five pin bars. Um, I think I figured out a way to make it on just one loom, um, I guess thinking of the loom a little bit differently instead of, um, I guess, up and down. We're thinking of it sideways now, so I'm going to show you how to make that. And then you can make it as long as you want, so it'll fit all the way around your wrist. You don't have to do the extensions. Um, it's just that it does take a little bit more work to do it, so um, I guess you just kind of have to pick your battle of how you want to do it. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, so first you're going to take your loom, and we're going to work on it sideways here. So you're going to take it, and you need to have your pin bars even. Um, you can work anywhere on the loom, just as long as you're working on five pin bars. So, what we need to do first is we're going to do part of the perimeter band, and we're going to start by taking our color and dropping two bands, just five pin bars apart. And then we're going to go on the right side we're going to bring it back towards us, so one up there, and then the next one will go here, and then we're going to go from here over, And then we are going to go back towards us again, over here. Like that. So that's our start of our perimeter. And then we're going to need an end cap right here. So put that on there. And then you want to take your first color. Um, and we're just going to drop the bands, drop some bands right here. And when we stretch these out, it's going to go this way. So you drop those here first, and then you're going to pick your other color that's going down. And we're just going to go like this, set those on there. I am triple banding, but you can just double band if you want. Um, just stay the same through your bracelet, I guess. So now you've dropped your bands, put your other color on here, and you're going to take the next one, and break some bands, like that. And then you'll take the down color and put it on each side here. So like that. Then you're going to take your hook or your fingers. I'm just going to use my fingers, I think. Grab these bands that you dropped. I just want to pull them over. So just like that. And then we're going to loom our perimeter here. So starting at your end cap. Take the top band, which will take you back that way. Um, my perimeter is double banded. Um, I know I've had a few people suggest to me that they did single banding and then they did cap bands on them, but I guess I'm just going to stick with the double banding since 
a little quicker. Um, but we want it that way and come back here and go up this way. So now you've completed the first little over half square. And now you're going to remove these um, two rows closest to you. And just make sure that these pins stay on there. like my other tutorials have started, we're going to take the loom apart. And you're going to want to move these to the other side. It's probably, you probably only need the one here right in the middle of your bracelet. Um, it should be fine so you won't have to put the other end on, but you can if you want to. Just throw it on there. Alright, so now what you need to do <coughs> is we're going to drop two bands again for our perimeter. Take this band, pull it up and over, and then you're going to lay your top bands from right to left. here and then grab up the dropped band like that. Now we're going to work back in here and if you see um, this one's on top right now and then these two are on the bottom so we're going to take this one and pull it up and over Now we're going to lay a cross piece. Which now makes it so that it's top here and bottom here. And then you're just going to go back and grab these two and pull them up. Like that. And now if you are going to do, if you're going to do a charm of this, I know some people said that would be a cute charm to have a little square. Um, this is where you would stop for this, then you just do your looming of the perimeter. But if you're going to continue on in the bracelet, you need to take um, bands and lay them right here for the next part of the bracelet. So I'm triple banding, so it's three bands. Just lay them right on top like that. Then we're going to go and do our looming.
Let's grab the bottom band. And you're going to want to turn this so I can get into the spots here. Go in through here and grab this band. And bring it over. And I just pull these out a little bit. And then go down through. Pull up the bottom band. Like that. And then we'll do back here. Like that. And we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to make sure these are down. And then you're going to remove these first two rows. And take your little part again. Switch these to the other side and put it back together. See you have one square started here. Okay, so now we're doing the first half of the next checkerboard. What we're going to do is drop bands here and put a band from here to here. Pick up these bands, pull them over. Bands over here. I'm going to pick up these bands over. I'm going to drop bands in here again for our cross color. I'm going to take these bands in the middle and pull them over. And take the color you dropped, bring it over, and then bring up the side ones over. Like that. And grab the ones you dropped here, pull them up and over. And you just want to go in here and loom up the sides.
then once again we're going to take off the first two rows Take your loom apart. And switch these to the other side. And what you're going to do is Drop bands. Go over here on the right. Put a band up there. Grab the ones you dropped from before. Bring them over. Then drop, put bands across here. Because this is the other half of the checker. And go in here and grab your middle, pull it up and over. Grab your cross color, put those on. And take these and pull them up. your colors down for your next checkerboard. Like that. And come over here, grab the bottom most band. Same with the next. And then I'm going to turn my loom here to get into these over here. that and go over here to this side bring this up just like that let's now take it off the first two again Take your loom apart. Move these to the other side. Right. 
Now we're doing the first half again. Here we need to drop bands. And over here, grab these, pull them up. Over here, and pull these up. Like that. Then you want to drop your opposite color to that one. And pull this up. Cross color. And bring these up. And then bring this one. Like that. And then you just need to loom up the sides. Like that. Now you remove it from the first two pins again. Take your loom apart. Move these to the other side and put it back together. So now we have two full squares and a half. So now we're working on the other half of this checkerboard. I'm going to drop our bands and over here on the right up here grab the drop bands and bring them over and then go from right to left And then over here, and grab these drop bands like that. Now grab your middle band, bring it up, cross bands. And then this one. Like that. All right, and then you take your lay your bands here for the next checkerboard. And then you loom up this way and then up that way.
come back and go up this side. Take it off the first two rows again. Take your loom part. Move these to the other side. Put your loom back together. Probably do another couple of squares and then I'll show you how to finish it. But it's the same pattern all the way down. Um, tough part is starting. That took me a while to figure out how to get them to go the right way because you're basically looming it backwards. Um, so like that, and then we're going to, because this is the first half of the new one, drop our bands. Drop a band for the cross color. And bands here. Bands here. Pull this one up. Okay, and go here and grab your center bands, pull them up. Cross color. It's a bug on my loom. color. And you want to bring the two sides up. And then take this one down here and bring it up. Like that. Loom up both sides. Like that. Remove the two rows. Take your loom apart. Move these to the other side. Like that. Now this is the end of the checkerboard square. Um, <clears throat> I'll drop two bands. here. Take this side. I'm going to go from here to here.
then from here. Oops. And grab your drop bands and bring those over. And take your top, your middle band here, bring it up, put your cross color on. Bring the two side bands up. Like that. And then we want to lay bands for the next one. the bottom band Yikes. Okay. oops Again, remove from your loom. Alright, so now we're laying the first half of the next square. So drop two bands. Like that. You can drop your other cross color. And starting over here. Band up, pull these up, and over here, band, and then pull these up. Now go in here in the middle, and up, and then Lay your cross color. Like 
and then pull these up. Like that. Loom your sides. Remove the first two rows. Okay, so this is the second half of this square, and I'm going to actually close it off here. So what we would do is we would skip dropping the bands, and just go here, bring these up, loom over. here and bring these up. I hope that you've noticed the pattern by now on how to do the, the first half and then the second half of the square. Um, if not, I guess try rewatching it. It's the same all the way down. You can make this as long as you wanted. Um, headband belt, I mean, you could keep going. Um, but to close this off, we skip, like I said, we'd skip laying the two bands down at the bottom, although it wouldn't matter if you forgot and still wanted to close it off because you can just skip using them. Um, but what we do first is lay the bands up sideways and then down. Bring our middle row up. Lay our cross band. Bring up our side bands. Like that. And then we just loom it like normal. like that. And then stick your hook up here in this corner and we'll remove it from the loom. Right. So here's what it looks like. Um, obviously you were doing a lot of stretching and pulling um, and then you just kind of let it sit there while you're doing the other looming, so you will have to stretch and pull it out and push things back in where they go to get the get the cleaner border that you can. Um, I know it's not the greatest, um, but I guess if you try some of the suggestions of 
capping the white bands. Um, see how that works for you. But you can now make it on one loom, so I guess the possibilities are endless. So that is my tutorial on how to make the checkerboard bracelet on one loom. Thanks.